Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to customize gallery captions in your Squarespace website. We're going to create multiple lines of text, give it a background color, and adjust some of the font style settings using custom CSS. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you how they work. Alrighty, so here we are in my demo site, and I'm going to navigate into edit mode and scroll down to this gallery here to show you right quick. If I click on this picture icon, this is where I've added descriptions for each one of these planet images. I have a title for the actual name of the planet and then some facts about it. To create multiple lines, I just used shift enter on my keyboard for a soft return, so I've got multiple lines there. So clicking close, let's hop into the gallery section menu here and turn on the captions. Now you'll see these captions are all put on the same line, so we're gonna correct that, give it a background color, and give it some padding and change up the font style a little bit. All of that's done with CSS, so let's save our changes, and we're gonna to navigate to, once the page reloads, there we go, we're gonna to navigate to design, and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS. Now the name for this gallery caption is super easy to remember, it is gallery caption. That's literally it. Let's go ahead and open up a curly bracket and give it a background color. We'll just make it a solid white background color. There we go. Now, how do we create those multiple lines of text that I talked about? I'm gonna enter a new line of code and say gallery caption P. That P stands for the paragraph text that we're using here. Then I'm gonna open up a curly bracket and I'm gonna say white space pre. And what that does is it then recognizes all of those soft returns as an actual new line of text. Pretty cool, right? Now, I also think the text is really close to the edge here, so I'm going to go ahead and give it some padding. I'm just going to add a semicolon and say padding 0.2 REM, and that'll pull it out from the edge a little bit. But let's say we actually want this first line for the title of the planet or the name of the planet to stand out even more. We can do that with another line of code. Here I'm gonna say gallery caption P, and then I'm gonna add the little colon symbol and say first dash line. Here I can open up a curly bracket and change just the text style of that first line. Let's start by making it bold. I'll say font weight bold and check it out. Now it really stands out. Let's make it a little bit bigger. I'll say font size one REM. That'll help it stand out a little bit more. Now let's say we wanna change the color. We can do that as well. We'll go ahead and say color uh, blue and now just the title of the planet itself is going to be blue. Now let's say we actually wanna center all of this text instead of having it uh, just with a little bit of padding. We'll go back to the second line here that says gallery caption P. So we're gonna change all of the gallery caption text and instead of padding, we'll say text align center. Now all of the text has been aligned in the center. So again, gallery caption is the entire container and that's what we gave a background color to. Gallery caption P is all of the text in there. This line right here where it says white space pre means that anytime we do a soft return or hit shift enter on our keyboard in the actual uh, gallery description or caption there, it will create a new line of text. And then after that, we aligned all of the text in the center. Now this last line of code here says gallery caption P first line, which means just the first line of text before that first soft return. There we've changed the font weight to bold and we've changed the font size to one REM, which is a little bit bigger than it was before, and we've changed the color to blue. You can also change the font family and any other typography settings you want using gallery caption P first line. Pretty cool, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and select save, and all these codes are listed in the description below. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.